all right guys so today sorry for the noise in the background my son's awake um today i'm going to show you how to make this cute little clipboard for your miniatures doll houses displays whatever um show you how to make one of those all you're going to need is one of these huge i think they're it's called gigantic or jumbo popsicle sticks from the doll uh from sorry walmart or if you have some like thin wood from any other projects you can use that and cut it down to the size that you want a strip of paper i like to use the lined paper because it just kind of makes it look a little bit more you know realistic but you can always just get a piece of uh blank paper and draw lines on it it's up to you let me change this lighting here because it's kind of crazy there we go all right so yeah so you can you know draw the lines on there if you want to and like a piece of cardstock or something like that so first thing you're going to do is you're going to cut your piece of uh, craft stick down to size you can make it whatever size you want to this one i cut down to about two inches so yeah so you can do that and then it's these are a little over an inch wide so just for reference if you're going to be cutting them off out of something else or if you don't have popsicle sticks this big you can take some cardstock layer a couple of pieces together glue them together and then cut them down to size and you'll get a decent you know nice little hard piece that's gonna kind of resemble the same material so i already cut it down i use these all-purpose scissors because they cut through them pretty quick but you can also just use regular scissors and i'll show you they cut through pretty quickly just note that the side to the right is going to split so you're going to want to make sure that you cut it this way to do one side and then when you're going to cut the other side flip it so that it breaks on the other end Again, I'm not measuring it, I'm just kind of cutting it, but you see it starts to kind of split on the right side. Not sure why, <laughs> but that's just how it works. So once you cut it, you'll have your little piece, and then you're going to take your, where is it at? your sander or your nail file, if that's what you have, and just file it down, smooth the edges down, and then it'll look more like this so I'm not going to do that on camera but that's what you're going to do to make your little clipboard piece and then you're going to take your paper and measure it so that it's the size that you need it to be and I'm going to do about here probably and then you just cut all the other ones the same oops this is pretty loud back here give me just a second all right had to turn my tv down there all right and then you're just going to cut all the pieces behind it right all right so then what you're going to do is you're going to take your little piece of cardstock or whatever you have this is just like a packaging it's like the cardboard from a packaging and you're just going to draw out the shape i was trying different you know ways to do it but you're going to cut out the shape of the little clip on the clipboard and it, I mean, it's not perfect, so, you know, you can do it however you want. But then you're going to take some little scissors and cut it out. Oh, my son is in the background making noise. Do this. And then just going to trim it around the edges it's like a yummy it was yummy mm -hmm. all right you just kind of trim it up to size there however you want it and then what i do is kind of fold it at the little rounded part on the top and i have a silver metallic marker probably should have done this while it was on here but I didn't <laughs> so then you're just gonna make it silver because obviously it's metal 
So, uh, just gonna paint it, paint it, paint it. Let that dry a little bit. You can do both sides if you want to. I'm just doing the top one because it's not a big deal. All right, so then I have the rest of these papers I got to cut down while that little piece is drying there. I'm going to. <clears throat> uh uh, uh uh, no, not right now. Not right now. My son playing in the background, guys, so sorry about that. Um, this is one of the reasons that I want to go live, but I don't go live because there's always something going on <laughs> in the background. So I'm just going to cut a few pages there. And then what I usually do, is once I get them together here, is I get my awl and I just poke three little holes like you would, you know, like a notebook piece of paper has. Of course, you don't have to do this. This is optional. But I like to do it just to make it look like a piece of filler paper you make the three holes on there Oops. and you can use a needle or you know whatever you have it doesn't have to be an all but this is what I have so then you just make three holes there so then it looks like you have three pieces of loose leaf paper then we're going to use some of this Fabra fix glue and I Clean it off there. You got some of that, or you can use whatever kind of glue you have. But I love Fabric Fix because it just glues to everything. And I'm just gonna put it on the bottom part here. And of course, you can paint this. You can stain it. You can leave it as is. Whatever you want to do. Then you just put that right in the middle there. Oops, piece sticking. Oh no! Don't do that. <laughs> I messed it up a little bit it's okay it's okay so yeah so you just glue that on there and then of course the papers aren't going to be under the clip which is just kind of sit th these are a little wide let me trim them down a little bit and then you have yourself a little clipboard and of course if you want you can god bless you just put one sheet on there or whatever then they go with your little pencils Thank that you, Mom. you're welcome and then they go with the pencils that you made previously and there you go you've got a little clipboard some stationery to go on any little desk and of course you can adjust this to any size that you want according to the scale that you're using I, you know i don't really do anything necessarily to scale <laughs> i just kind of do them the size that I think fits to whatever I'm doing. So this is what works for me and I love it. I think it's super cute. And I know this was a really weird short video, but I just wanted to show you how I made the little clipboard. And that is it for today. Be sure to hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. And until next time, guys, be blessed and be the reason someone smiles. Bye.